Hello, welcome to my math class. I was going to put this video up to kind of help you guys a little bit navigate through my website. I'm going to be referring you to it quite frequently during this semester. I haven't really done that in semesters past, so I figured I'd put this video up to help you guys kind of figure out where to go. Um, first of all, this is the home page. I will have a QR code up in the classroom for you to scan so you don't have to type that all in up here at the top. Once we get that though, you guys should definitely bookmark it or save it or something like that. That way you can easily get back to it. You'll notice here that I kind of just have a little bit of welcome information. If your parents want to um, contact me for anything, I have the email up over here on the right hand side. Um, if you're scrolling down, uh, you see some other things here such as useful math apps and that's along the side as well. This is a year round thing that I do on the right hand side getting bonus by supporting your school you're gonna to have to do it using Twitter I know some of you have had me in the past and um, you're not huge fans of doing that but I've used Twitter quite frequently in the recent past and it's it's just a good way to share what's out there and see what all things are um, going on so there are positive ways to use that app if you'll see here along the left hand side up up top here uh, you'll notice that I have some different classes here Algebra 1 up top, code, that's something that's going to be kind of side work and uh, there'll be opportunities for bonus points if we work in this a little bit and I'll explain that more when we get to it. Um, consumer math, geometry, and pre-algebra. Um, so when you come in here this is what you'll see and you'll just go to your respective class. I'll click on Algebra 1 for instance and when we come in here um, you'll notice a couple different things. First thing here, this is our textbook, and if you are in um, third period class, you're going to go to bigideasmath.com, or you can just click on this link when you guys come to my website after watching this video. You can click on that link right there, and that'll take you straight to it. And you're going to enter this access code if you're in third period, and if you're in sixth period, you're going to enter the one below. Um, also, for all algebra students, there's not two separate access codes. There's this classbadges.com. Um, and you'll click on this link again after you get done with this video you'll click on this link at my website and you'll be able to enter in the registration code for my class to see all the badges that I award you if you don't register for my class I can't award you anything so make sure that you get in there and do that um, you'll notice I only have one section of consumer math so I'm not going to go into that but you'll notice for pre-algebra that I also have two sections of that this year again these pictures these books are clickable so that this will just take you to the website access code for first period is right here access code for ninth period is down below so make sure that you enter um, the correct class code for that um, and again if you're in pre-algebra you're going to enter this code over here for the um, class badges the only class that will not have the class badges as of right now is consumer math geometry and pre-algebra and algebra one will all have the class badges we may add them to consumer math but I'm doing something a little bit different this year um, as far as the general layout of the class is going to go, you guys, from time to time I might be flipping a lesson. So you're going to have something similar to this, either a video of me um, teaching a lesson or a recording like this and it's showing you what's going on and you're going to follow along on your iPad and take notes off to the side or flip back and forth between notes and the video and you're going to learn in, in a flipped format every once in a while. I probably won't do it all the time. Um, but really the reason for that is um, to help you guys have more class time to work so you don't have to take it home near as much and it'll give you guys an opportunity to communicate with each other a little bit more. Um, really I want some of the focus of my math classes to come off of me and to go on to you guys. I want, I want it to be centered around um, where you guys are mathematically and what you guys need so that's going to happen from time to time and you'll see here that I have some YouTube videos posted over certain things um, I will generally title them um, you know whatever section it is for example right here we have pre-algebra chapter 8.2 um, that's all going to change this year so if I do have you watch a video it's probably going to be through um, the book so again if you click on the book it takes you to the website here and you'll see um, my stuff is saved you guys will set up it set this up also so you'll go 
new to Big Ideas Math when you sign in, I want you to use your school email and I want you to use your PowerSchool password. If you don't use your PowerSchool password, I can't help you remember it. So make sure that you use something that you're going to remember because otherwise you won't have access to the book and we do not take home textbooks this year. So make sure that you do not lose that. Um, in your Yours will look a little bit different. Actually, let me sign out here and show you what yours will look like. I have a test student here. So when we sign in with the test student, here is the screen that you're going to see. And this test student is signed up in algebra. So you're going to see this screen right here when you sign in. We have the student book. We have a skill review handbook. There's a glossary. There's math tool paper. I know a lot of students don't like to use the, my graph paper anymore. And if you'll notice here, there's all kinds of um, number lines, functions, and coordinate graphs. So if you look at this, you'll see um, input-output tables, XY input-output, input-output, all kinds of stuff. And then here's your nice, um, clean coordinate plane. So again, that's it's a resource through BigIdeasMath.com. You don't have to type that in. Once you're finished with this video, just go to my website go to your class and click on your book make sure that you register for the correct class um, but otherwise we'll be able to set this up and get going with it this year i look forward to working with all of you good luck